Hey there, what are we doing today? Well, today is Savings Challenge Monday. As always, I'm super glad you're here with me today. Thank you so much. My name's Lisa and let's get started. So Show Me the Love is where you guys, and you guys have been so great. I really, really appreciate it. You come back on Mondays and leave a like, 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 like Angel over in Budget and Debt would say on the video and each like will cost me a quarter. And I picked up this challenge from um, Veronica at 40 Plus Life. It's, it's just a great way to stay consistent. It's really helped me stay consistent. This is actually the reboot. And this will take us through next year. And after that, we'll figure out what we're going to do. So this time we had 122 likes by the time I tape this. But I'm going to just round up to 125 and oh I put that in the wrong spot didn't I that didn't take long anyway we can fix that with some white out but um, today is actually Saturday I've already been to Aldi 125 let's figure out what that's gonna be and just picked up what was on my list which that in itself was um, remarkable I always think, oh, I need that, I need that. And I really don't. $31.25, let's round that up to $35. We'll round that up to $35. So um, I thought, well, let me get this one done and I can um, move on with another video or not. And plus I have things to do around the house. My husband is working this weekend, so I can get a lot of things done. Isn't that weird how you can get more things done when your husband's not around? Okay. So that's $35. That's the case for me. We kind of get distracted and um, it just doesn't always work out. So this is my binder. I keep my cash in the back. And we're going to count out 35. I usually pull uh, $80 every paycheck or $40 a week. 10, 20, 30, and 5. That leaves me 15 left over. So let's add this. This will hopefully fund our medical deductible for this year and hopefully um, that will carry over till next year. We'll see. I think we have like four, 400 something in the medical deductible right now, but this will, this will help. It's also gone towards my $5,000 savings challenge, which was originally for the deductible on a roof if a hurricane took it out because that alone will be fifty six hundred dollars because we live in florida but i think we're going to have to redirect those funds to a new hvac for the house oh my but on the plus side my husband can install it that's what he's certified in so that's probably what will happen early next year but i'm going to save for it 20 40 60 80 90 1 10 20 30 45 so we have 145 in that and that's super oh this 15 that's left over i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my 100 envelope challenge box and just stuff that because i won't have to pull any more money out for this for two more weeks so this is what's going to go in i've been accumulating a little bit here and there like gas money I didn't spend or grocery money I didn't spend so we'll put that in there and this will be exciting it's low denomination and when we're done it should be $348 I think that's that I would like to get that done before Christmas that's the goal or before the end of the year same -o. so next we're gonna work on this binder this is my holiday binder. This is where I fund all the mini holidays throughout the year. I like it. It has been so helpful with Halloween and I've already been spending out of it out of the Christmas dinner money. So yeah. And let's see what we have here. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So $50 every two weeks goes in this binder. I am going to add $5 in 
for Thanksgiving. I just think I want to get a turkey or two and put it in the freezer. So we'll put that five in and that will give us 50. Oh, where'd that 50 come from? 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105. I don't usually get 50s. So that was uh, a little bit of a, oops, where'd that come from? Why'd you do that? Okay, Christmas dinner. I've been working on that. I've been uh, accumulating or buying things for the dinner, for the family dinner. Um, I spent 36 at Publix and $8 at Publix. So actually I put in 10, you know, when I wrote this out, it was $10 and it would have been 170. But now with all of the deductions, it'll be 126 after I add the 10. So let's do that. Let's see what we get. Let's hope it's right. If it's not, that's fine too. So that's 100, 10, and that'll be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Bada bing. That went pretty good. Um, I, I just buy the uh, pasta that's, uh, it was BOGO at Publix, I think last week. Centenaro, Centenaro. And I keep saying I'll put a picture of it in here. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And it's very helpful with the family dinner and very economical and very tasty. So Valentine's Day is going to get $10. That should bring us up to 90. If you ask my husband, this is a national holiday because it is his birthday. I'm gonna ask him seriously. He's like, oh yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So we usually like to go out to eat on this for his birthday and Valentine's Day. We, we do combine it. So we're just gonna put ahead for that. Easter, Easter is not gonna get anything. We currently just have $70. Mother's Day is going to get 10, because that's another national holiday. We'll go out to eat on that weekend too. Five, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So far so good. I feel like I'm gonna run out of money again. I never get this right, do I? Maybe I do, to give myself some credit. Father's Day, another national holiday. That will get 10 as well. So that'll be 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 75, and 80. What? That's not right. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70. Okay, that's right. <laughs> I'm trying to trick myself. Just trying to trick myself. And July 4th, Memorial Day, that will get just $5. I did do it right. High five, Lisa, high five. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And well, sold it still, that's $60, okay. So that's a plus. And Halloween is not in the mix yet. I think after Thanksgiving, we'll probably add $5 to that now and again, but I do have money left over, which I'm so tickled about. I have $25 left over. I did have to borrow 20 for a great clips for my grandson because that was the cash I had on hand, but I, I paid it back from beauty. So that being accountable thing is really, is really pushing my buttons. So, financially accountable. <clears throat> so that gives us 25. Yep, let's get that back in there. And this is just my note of what we did last year. So I remember what to buy, what to um, what worked and what didn't work. And of course, $50 bi-monthly. Okay, that is it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you leave a like and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.